The limiting factor in this calculation is not the medium. It is the time you're wasting in the wait for acknowledgement, which is higher than the time you're spending sending the data that is required to be sent. For example, if we start at time zero with sending a packet with length L that takes L over R to send, the sender has to wait RTT after that time to be able to use another L over R seconds to send. We are sending one packet and waiting a whole RTT for the acknowledgement to be received. How we can change that? To improve utilization, we can pipeline. Instead of sending one packet and waiting for it to be received on the other side, we can send a bunch of packets, having some of them in flight while we are waiting for the acts of those sent. For example, in our previous simple example, if we send three packets while we are waiting for acknowledgements, we improve utilization by almost three times. We need two things to make pipelining happen more numbers used for sequence numbering of the packets, and buffering at the sender and receiver. We are going to discuss two generic forms of pipeline protocols that can help us achieve this. Go back in and select a repeat. In go back in, the sender can have up to n unact packets in the pipeline. The receiver only sends cumulative acknowledgments for the packets received. The sender maintains a timer that keeps the time for the oldest unact packet. When that timer expires, the sender will retransmit all of the unact packets. In selective repeat, also the sender can have up to n unact packets in the pipeline. However, the receiver sends individual acts for each packet. And sender maintains timer for each packet individually. And when the timer expires, retransmits only that unact packet.